Good morning. So, guess what? I got, so this morning I woke up, but I woke up late, like eight something, nine o'clock this morning, checked my email, and I had an email about the fingerprinting for the carrier position that I accepted, and I am excited. I didn't even think that they were going to um, send it to me right away because I was I was worried but they sent in like seven something so it said that you can go to the fingerprinting location and bring your documents documents that you need in the appointments for 12 o'clock it also told me that I can go tomorrow and then I think like two more days after that but each time is for 12 o'clock and it said to print out some paperwork that they want you to fill out and bring as well so I'm so hyped, like, okay, I gotta hurry up, I gotta hurry up. And I go to print my papers out, and I know I got ink, and it's not coming out right. So I have to go get new ink just so it can print out right. So I was just gonna hurry up and try and go to FedEx or something, or Kinko's or something, and have them, uh, I don't even know if Kinko's still open, have them print it out for me, and then rush over there. But mind you, it's already like 10 o'clock or 10 something. I'm not about to drive myself crazy. So I'm just going to go tomorrow. I wanted to try and get it done today. But so what I'm going to do is stop at the store and go get some new ink so I can print everything out. That way I'm not rushing. I also have a paper due for school tonight. So I really planned on staying in the house today and focusing on that. And then I'll go tomorrow. But uh, get this. The location for me to get my fingerprinting done is like so far. It's in Jersey, and that's a, I'm a so I don't know. I mean, when I was applying for the, all the positions, it did have a uh, Jersey at the top of the uh, the job applications. I was wondering why, but I assume maybe, like maybe that's their headquarters for my area. But I, I wish it was a little closer. I don't know how far is Glou Gloucester. I don't know if I'm saying that right. How far that is. I mean, Jersey not far. Far, far. I just wish it was a little closer. But I'm only familiar with certain areas of Jersey. I don't remember Gloucester. I don't know if I'm saying it right. So I have to go there to get my fingerprinting. But I'm excited. I'm glad they gave it to me. I mean, I'm glad they uh, sent me the email about it because I was worried that I was going to have to be calling all these people all the way up until tomorrow. But now I don't have to, so I'm going to go. And I guess from there on, they'll let me know the next step, maybe orientation, I'm hoping. I kind of wish I have, I, I'm hoping I have a little time between orientation, but the way everything going, it seems like it's uh, going pretty quickly. So I, I need to just be prepared, but I wanted to do some things far as home and the children and stuff like that before I go but I'm trying not to complain because this you know people need jobs and I am lucky to have gotten this far and get a um, acceptance offer so hopefully I get the actual job because I'm not saying I got the job until I know for sure you got to I got to be on the job and working to know I got the job. And even then, I don't feel like I got the job until after whatever probation period. So, I'm excited. But get this, I didn't tell my guy. <laughs> I told him, you know, we talked about everything. And he was saying that, you know, he can't really be all the way hands-on as much as me as far as the kids because of his uh, career. So, he was basically saying I can be home and we're going to be cool. But I don't, I don't like that. So... But he was like, if you really want to do it, do it. So I'm trying to rush because I don't know if my phone won't cut off. But um, I don't. I ain't tell him yet. So I'm going to tell him after I do the thing. <laughs> after I do the fingerprint, I'll tell him. Maybe I'll tell him when they give me my appointment for the orientation. Cause I don't want him to try and stop me from doing it. I mean, I don't know. I ain't tell him. But that's not. I feel bad. I feel like I'm being sneaky because I didn't tell him. But um. I'm also waiting for them to send me some more offers, hopefully. I don't know if they won't because I already accepted the one I did, but I would rather a closer location. But I also feel like the location I picked might be like a nice area. I'm not sure. 
but I'm excited. So now I just gotta wait. I gotta go get my fingerprints done tomorrow and then contact, I mean, wait for them to uh, let me know about whatever next step and then let my man know what I'm doing. What else? That's it. Oh, as far as the exam, back in the day when people used to tell me that you got to take an exam to apply for the post office, I used to be kind of like intimidated. I don't know why. It needs to be like it's hard and all this stuff, but I didn't have details on exactly what was on the exam. Now, I know that the exam has changed supposedly just not too long ago. So I think it was like memorization on the other exams as far as like the addresses and stuff. I actually did a practice test with this. I was expecting to take that type of exam, but I didn't have that on my exam. All I had was more so like common sense questions. Back in the day, I thought like you is an actual like school exam. You gonna have math on there, all kinds of stuff. But I guess it wasn't. I don't know why people was making it like a, I mean, it, it can be hard. Of course, with the memory, I knew, I just knew I wasn't getting no good score if I had the memorization on here. But I'm glad it's changed, so I don't know if anybody wanted to know that. Mine didn't have the address memorization on here. It was just more so those questions that you answer, uh, like, what would you do in certain situations and you got to pick most likely or least likely or whatever type of answer like that. I think I got a 97 for my score. I probably would have did better, but I was like second guessing stuff. Like, is this a trick? But it is kind of like trick questions, but again, it's common sense. And you, you, whoever take it, you'll get it. You'll be fine. But that's it. I'm excited. So now I just have to wait. I have. I wanted to do it today. Like I really did. I hope that's not stopping me from. Uh, maybe being I don't know as far as ranking and stuff I hope that's not stopping me from maybe getting a job closer than someone else I don't know but I'm not gonna make it it's what time is it I knew I wasn't gonna make it I was gonna try and hurry up and rush but I'm I'm not gonna do that then I gotta go to Jersey I don't wanna do that all right I'll hit you guys back like and subscribe to my channel my channel is not about post office. I mean, I'll probably, you know, keep got you guys updated with whatever's going on as far as me working there, if I work there. But I don't want, really have a niche. My channel is basically whatever I want it to be or whatever I feel like posting. I am a boring person and I'm trying to break out of that. That's one of the reasons for joining YouTube. So I hope you guys like me because even with me being boring, I hope you like me and follow me. You might see some vlogging with this with me and my little kids and maybe just my journey in life or me I don't know. I like watching people born channel vlogs. I like seeing people sitting in the house. I like watching somebody talk to me. I like watching people going to Target and Walmart. I like it. <laughs> That's what I do too. All I do is go to freaking Target and Walmart in the market. That's all I do. I'm a mother. And um, to the other mothers, do y'all go to the market like so many times throughout the week? And I'm trying not to go. I have cut back since COVID. But it's like my kids eat me out of house and home, especially more than ever because of the pandemic. Like, goodness. I cannot keep going to the market. All right, I'm out. Bye.